because when I was in my twenties, like, you know, I I kind of maybe I was a bit more resilient and I was a bit more, you know, I was up, I was more up for the challenge of trying to convert or trying to get out of the friend zone. Whereas in now I'm just kind of like, I don't know whether it's just experience or exhaustion. <laughs> to be fair, it might be exhaustion. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome to 30 Years and Running. I'll be your host Christian and each week my friends and I will be looking at life seen through the eyes of 30-somethings. Whether it's things like dating, social media or mental health, we'll be looking at the past, present and future of being in your 30s. Let's talk about this um, this topic by the way. Oh yes sir. Oh yes sir, yes sir Mr Richard. I wanna, <laughs> do you know what it is? It's just, so, <coughs> on the way here, yeah. I, was, um, I had a quick chat with someone Yeah. and I was like, how do, how do you approach this angle? How do you approach this conversation? Shall I um, introduce the topic first? Yeah, 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 yeah sure. <laughs> Welcome to 30 Years and Running. I've got a man like Nookie back in the building. Hello. How you doing, Nooks? I'm good, bro. How are you? I'm all good. Can't complain. How are you? Um, so, sorry, I always forget to do this when we do this, but... Um, what, ask how I am? No, I've already asked how you are, to be fair. No, all I was going to say is, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the ting, and then if you're watching on your podcast platform, wherever it might be, make sure you rate it. Ideally, five stars. <laughs> if you like it, that is. Um, and download it. That'd be really, really appreciated. So, today, we're going to be talking about the friend zone. You're as cold as ice. When Hello, darkness, my old friend. I was going down the sacrifice line. Oh yeah, sorry, I cut you off. Um, but yeah, no, sorry. Just quickly before we go into it, like shout out to everybody on who follows the Instagram page for voting for this. So yeah, I was basically asking. I was telling you before, but I was asking people like what we sh what we should talk <laughs> about today, and then basically narrowed it down to two options. One was the friend zone, and then one was the talking stage, and people voted for the friend zone. So I mean, they're all pretty fun topics, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, we'll probably cover like the talking the others, stage yeah. at some yeah. point. Um, sorry, <laughs> I just introed the thing, but you you sounded like you had like a point. You said you were talking to someone on the way here. About oh right, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, let's go. Yeah, sorry. Let's get back to that. So do you know what this? So this this is a topic. I was like, okay, what's the angle that we can really sort of go down? So I would, yeah, I was talking to a friend of mine on the way here. Um, just briefly, just sort of say, really, just going into like the friend zone and like what his experiences are with the friend zone. Um, he was just saying that he has countless friend zones <laughs> where he's always been putting girls into the friend zone, not him yeah. being friend zone. He's in a relationship at the minute. Um, and he's just, that's just been the way that he, he's always been. It's just like puts him to that side. So I, I was just sort of wondering if we're going to be talking about it. So we're talking about it from a standpoint where it's us in the friend zone or are we friend zoning? I think it's both. I think it's both. I, I, I'm sure the people who voted for it on Instagram when I hear about the times when we've been put in the friend zone, which I'm sure we'll cover. Um, but yeah, I think it's, like, I, I think the reality is like everybody has either friend zoned someone or they've been put in the friend zone themselves. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then just quick, I, I don't think we need to do a definition of this, but I, no, I think I, we do. You reckon? A little bit. Yeah. Just to, to sort of be. All right, so, um, so like to me being put in the friend zone is you or someone wants a romantic relationship with someone mm. and the other person doesn't reciprocate that and they just want to be friends so they want to keep it strictly plutonic to add to that as well i think friend zoning can either happen either before you're even in a ro romantic relationship with someone so if you're like trying to court someone for example yeah but court. i also yeah That's some so like awesome. 1950s don't I know. Court, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> sorry they move to yeah move to sorry <laughs> Fucking hell, Christian. Um, it's 30 years of running, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, Jesus. Not 1950s <laughs> years of running, it. Um, so, yeah, I think that the friend zoning can happen before the re the romantic relationship is even a thing, right? Yeah. But yeah. to me as well, like, the friend zone can happen once you've had a romantic relationship and yeah, it's kind true. of fizzled out and Ooh, now they just want to yeah. be friends. And I'll speak about an example about that in a bit. In fact, I've spoken about it before, but I'll speak about it in a bit. Okay. Um, so I thought we'd just start like right from the top, I guess. Do you, do you remember the first time you got friend zoned or you friend zoned somebody? 
Um, Shaboy, but that's we're going we're going years back to really do that. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess the first time that I've friend zoned someone, or I've been friend zoned, even it, yeah, it will be. Yeah, I remember it as well. <laughs> oh, let's hear it. This is um, yeah, this is a secondary school. Um, mm. she was uh just someone that like like I really had a thing for. We had a uh, this is when we had the, our discos, isn't it? Yeah. And this is um, <laughs> I feel like mine's gonna this, be a this, similar this example. This was in a school disco though. This is one of the ones where we went to um, like Harlequins. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah it's one of those ones. Yeah. Um, but it's from it's with one of the girls from one of our sister schools. So yeah, I'm um, it's still like the same circles. I'm not gonna say her name. Yeah, sure. Um, but yeah, she was someone where. I got with her on that night. Mm. So got with her back then meant like kissing or whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I was like, yeah, 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 And just kept just pursuing it, pursuing it after that. Um, but then she got a boyfriend and I was just there on the periphery trying to flirt, mm. <laughs> but just never really, really amounted to anything. Mm. I remember uh, there's a story that sort of gets passed around in our group. <laughs> Where <laughs> the joke is, you haven't even said it, but I feel like I know. You, I feel like I know who you're know talking who, about from, and what situation you're talking about. Right? Basically, like this is where, <laughs> this is where like I was trying to figure out a way to. to <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh about it, bro. This was like this is this, right. this was premium macking. Wait, j- j- just to clarify, age? You were what? Sixteen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, yeah. this was like yeah. This, this would have been around the, yeah around sixteen. Uh, yeah, yeah. That sort of age age. Maybe a little bit older, like sixteen to eighteen, sort of thing. Mm. Um, I think we was at a point where we're driving or com- going into driving. Sorry, right. So, so like we seventeen, were, yeah, sixteen, 18, seventeen. Or so. And I just right. remember that. Um, so at that time, um, I did have a thing for her. And I wanted to be a bit flirty, try and get into her head, like she could be with me instead of the other guy. And she kept, she had to come to my house. Mm. I can't remember what it, the reason was behind why she had to come. She had to pick something up. I remember. <laughs> So back when I was younger, right, there was no Netflix and chill back in these no, days. No, but back well. when so I was younger, what, like I had. What was uh, your excuse? Back when I was younger, I was in a lot slimmer shape, mm. and so I took advantage of that. So I remember I had like a, a dressing gown, and she, <laughs> you know who it is if I tell you this. I had a dressing oh, you gown. Oh, you were you were trying to Harvey Weinstein or, or something? And she came to the house, and then she's like, "Oh, I need to get her." And she's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, come in." Had it opened up a little bit. There was a bit of abbage. Lad, sure. you're all creepy as fuck, man. <laughs> Man rocked up in the, <laughs> rocked up in the dressing gown. Right, I feel it's like it's in my room. It's in my house. Sorry, no, bro, I feel like you had a pipe and slippers no, no, as no, well. No, 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 no. But I mean, Hugh Hefner was you're... an idol at the time. No, it's like, bro, you're probably on your high end <laughs> Harvey Weinstein tip. But bro. I was, do you know what? This is when I was like a teenager, innit? And I didn't really yeah. know how to sort of try and. Me let... too, man. What the Me Too movement? What you <laughs> no, I'm hollering Me Too because this is this is kind of this is kind of creepy, bro. So basically, look, listen. All right. Sorry, I'll let you. Yeah. yeah. So at at that time, yeah, like I didn't really know how to sort of let a girl know directly or indirectly that I was interested in them. Yeah. So I was just trying to be a bit flirty. I knew that the the abs at the time, like girls liked the abs. Did you have wood at the time as well? mm, Bro, semi. Come on, man! Like I was trying to keep it PG at least. PG twelve. Not full on X-rated. Fam, you're in a dressing gown, man. Yeah, this is not PG. Off the, this not, is PG not, 13, not man. The wood, like no dick print, no homo. No, no, like, dick prints were even a thing back then. I mean, they they've always been a thing as long as you had clothes, I guess. But <laughs> just the name of it probably hasn't. I come don't know. To the I floor. feel like dick prints is something that so, we're digressing like so away yeah, from, yeah, no, from, right. from the conversation that we need to. Basically, like at the time, in it, like I was like, how do I be? subtle that i'm interested in her that she should be looking at me in a way that i wanted to look at me and that's yeah. what that's what i did that was what i thought would be the way to do it um but i was quite heavily in the friend zone with her and the reason why i was in the friend zone with her was because she, number one she did have a relationship yeah but number two because i didn't know how to be direct and be like yo i've got these feelings for you like i want to be more than just a friend mm. um, and that was me trying to so sorry, I just wanted to, to get into it over. Yeah, I just wanted to pick up on work. something like that. So for me, I don't know if I count. Well, I I tell a lie. There's some instances where you need to friend zone someone, right? Mm. Like people talk yeah. about friend zone in a really negative way all the time. But I think in her instance, because she had a man, like she like what she's supposed to do apart from friend zone any other guy nothing personal against you like any other guy who isn't her boyfriend like that's 
I think that's a necessary thing to do if you've got a boyfriend or girlfriend. This is true. Um, and it, I feel like there's a little bit of a debate whether that's friend zoning or not because you're you're both not single, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, do you count that as a friend zoning or do you just count that as being a good boyfriend well, or I, girlfriend? Do you know what it is? So because we had that prior history where we'd gotten with each other and there was a... She was quite... A, at the time when we were younger, she was quite a flirty person. Yeah. So I feel like that was also something that was just a thing that she was like at the time she you know she wanted to kiss me whatever mm. and i think because i was really into her like i'd grasped onto that and i'd held on to it mm. and i think that she hadn't explicitly said like yeah you're like a brother to me or you're like a friend to yeah me. but obviously since we hooked up she'd gotten into a relationship with someone and she was with that person for a long time mm. like even like to, towards like the uni days like she was with this guy i'm pretty sure for like years and that yeah um so so i was always like on the side just thinking you're just waiting for your chance. You're oh, waiting for that guy to slip up. Well, I never knew how to get in there. I never knew. I just imagine you on the sidelines just doing stretches. Oh, I see. <laughs> shuttle runs. Wait, just waiting for this guy to slip uh, this up. This ain't no like, sports event. Like, yeah, this, <laughs> I just, Might I, as well be. It's a similar, I, similar I, comparison. I do, I do remember just being, at the time, thinking like, ah, oh, this guy, like, who is this guy? Like, he's a bit of a waste man. I feel like I could, yeah. I could trump this guy easily. Mm. But, yeah, so at that, at that age, it's just... Trump, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, Bye then. Yeah, that's <laughs> Sorry. that's a bit old as well, isn't it? Yeah. To be fair. Um, but yeah, at that time, like I didn't really know how to sort of figure out negotiate how to, the friend yeah, zone. Yeah, negotiate the friend zone. To be fair, was, I don't think uh, I don't know about you, but it, when I've been put in the friend zone, why are you dropping your head? Because I feel like some. I feel like there's there's a mad revelation. Carry on. Sorry. No, but all I'm saying is like I don't know about you, but. It, all the times, or some, uh, I'd say the majority of the times when I've been put in the friend zone, I haven't even wanted to come out of it, to be fair, because it's like, yeah, when you get put in the friend zone. Put in there, bro, you can't, you, once you're in there, like. I know, but it's like, why would you want to have a relationship with someone who only wants to be friends with you, I guess, is my point. Yeah. yeah. Don't get me wrong, especially when I was younger, like, there were times when you'd try and be persistent and you'd try and battle against that. But then I think in a lot of cases, at least for me anyway, it's, it's kind of like pushing water uphill. So, oh, I like that analogy. Have you not heard that before? No. Yeah, it's good. Imagine. Um, it's impossible. Y yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, I mean, like when someone's got their mind made up, like that's that's kind of, yeah. Shout out to gravity, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to liquids. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, I just think sometimes you're you're fighting a losing battle, and it's kind of like, why would you put your energy towards something which is ultimately going to be a bit futile? Um. Well, like, sorry, I was just going to carry on with that and say, like, I, I think I remember my first time of when I got friend zone. I think I was in secondary school as well, but I was I was a bit younger. I was I think I was about 13, 14 at the time. Yeah. And um, again, it wasn't it, it's kind of weird, but I think these times. Yeah. Again, this is like a school disco situation. But it was someone who I was interested in, like, again, local school, it wasn't at Harlequins, but it was actually a school disco. And yeah, I was really into it. And I was putting in, I was, I was putting in the, the, the groundwork. I was putting in the Charlie Dimmock and I wasn't really yeah. kind of getting anywhere. Um, and then I remember she like sent me a text uh, just saying, I must've been can like you really not, persistent. Can you not have gone with Titchmark? Nah, I prefer Dimmock to be fair. Yeah? You could have gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd rather prefer Dimmock than Titchmark. I don't know. Like, yeah. Well, you're a gee, in, in, that, <laughs> in that sense. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, but yeah, it, it, was, it was a pretty standard friend zoning, right? It was like, I, I've been pursuing her for a bit and... Yeah, your, te your, just, textbook, your textbook friend zoning. Yeah, textbook friend zoning. Like I was pursuing for a, her for a bit and she obviously wasn't feeling the same way and then she just kind of locked the thing off by just saying, I just think we should be friends. And I think that was my yeah. first encounter with it. And yeah, I think for all intents and purposes, it was, it was pretty, like I said, it was pretty standard. So when we're talking about textbook um, mm. friend zoning, have you had that... You're like a brother, friend zone. Because that's that's the textbook one. That's the one that's that's the one that kills people. That's, that's the one that I feel like that's like alive. the stereotypical one. But I don't feel I feel like in reality that doesn't happen too much. I could be wrong, but for me personally, that's that's never happened. Like I've never. Sorry. Huh? Sorry. <laughs> oh, you think I mean, <laughs> I'm impossibly arrogant? No, 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 no. Um, that no, one would that one would be. No, I don't think I've <clears> ever <throat> have it as you're like a brother to me. 
I think my soul would just leave my body <laughs> if that had happened. <laughs> I've had fr- I've had friends that are girls call me like a brother. That's fine, but I've never I've but not then, I've not had you someone. To, but then were you trying to pursue them as something nah. in like a romantic? Nah. No, that's fine. Nah. Yeah, that's fine. But I feel like yeah, and I feel like I don't. I want to meet the person that's actually experienced that because I feel like that that person's got a conversation. Like a, yeah, I mean that. But I feel, I feel like if you meet <laughs> the person who has that done to them, like they're in just, my head they put in like <laughs> well yeah, and they put in like years of graft, like proper graft and. In my head, they just turn up to the girl's like house with like a flower or like a bouquet of like flowers, and then they get told that, and then all the flowers just go. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that's I, I don't know. I f- I feel like that's a really stereotypical and like the the, the complete like extreme end of the spectrum for what's <laughs> happened. But I've had it before where girls have just been like, I just see you as a friend, or I just want to be friends. But yeah, I've never had it as a brother before. Yeah, um, I think you know what it's. Another reason why, when you, when I saw that this was the topic, uh, a big reason why I felt like it was quite an interesting one is just because, so, f- in my in my in my sort of mid twenties, like basically, uh, and this has come from uh, a couple of friends of mine. Mm. Uh, one of the things that I paid attention to and started um, reading into and, and understanding as a concept when it's in the dating world, and it, it translates to other sides of, of of life. It's not just dating, but um, there's a guy. It's called. Um, Alan Roger Curry, that's his name. Um, and he, what he does is he has something called uh, Mode One, What's which is that? essentially Mode One. It's like um, it's a dating theory where essentially it's talking about how you approach women. Right. And this isn't the guy who wrote the the game, is it? No, that's uh, Neil Strauss. Um, <laughs> You've read all these pickup artist books, haven't you? I've, uh, they're my Bibles, bro. Jesus. <laughs> no, like do you know what? Stephen like, Hawking at pick up. Oh, it's education, man. bro. It's that in, it, like you want to learn how to, to talk to women, like yeah. read about it. That's what that's that's the, the sort of what I, I'd, uh, that's the reason why I would, I'd read these books. But yeah, so Alan Roger Curry um, would talk about Mode One, and the the premise behind it was let women know what you're really thinking. Let let women know what you really want. And mm. when seems I, legit, yeah, yeah. And when I when I heard what he was talking about, like that whole idea of friendship zone friend zone <clears throat> that just became non-existent to me because in un- unless i want a friendship with a person i'm not gonna like make it a, f- a thing where i'm going to try and indirectly get into to a romantic situation with them like mm. i would directly let them know that look i'm looking for this or i'm looking for that if it's a relationship it's a, if it's like a, a casual fling or whatever like i'll tell them what i want yeah I think that's um, fair. and i think that the friend zone comes from when someone's indirect with with their intentions they don't tell the woman what they're really looking for and then they get that peripheral just hanging on on the side yeah let's uh let's go for drinks let's go for for a meal or whatever mm. um and they there's there's never really that 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 impetus to be like well i want to take you for that drink because i want to wait you you saying sorry i might be misreading this but you saying like people get friend zone because they're not clear and direct about what their intentions are from the start i think that that would be um for, obviously it's not a case for everyone yeah but i think that that would be a considerable number yeah definitely if you think about maybe but I, I at the same time i feel like when people like why does it take so long for you to 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 basically come out of um a friend zone basically like like, like why are you in a friend zone it's like what I, what's well, what's what's stopped you from being in the situation where she can like where where you both are on the you're, you're singing off the same hymn sheet because a friend zone in, yeah. that insinuates that you're in her eyes you're a friend in in your eyes she's more than a friend mm. which means somewhere between the two of you you've not communicated your intentions i feel like it's do you see where a, i'm coming from yeah i understand but i feel like in a lot of cases it's less about the communication factor and it's just more about the the emotional and the feeling factor like it doesn't matter how much you communicate to someone like i want to have a romantic relationship with you if they don't feel the same way about you then there's no amount of communication that's going to change that i feel and i can only speak from personal experience but the times when uh i've been put in the friend zone it hasn't been about it's it's not been for lack of trying romantically it's just literally just been because the person doesn't feel the same way about me Mm. so i'm not i i understand the point that he's making and that you're making but I don't know. I, f- I feel like the majority of the time it's less about the communication and it's more just about the feeling that the person has the o- towards the other person. Yeah. Um, 
and yeah I, I i was just thinking about what you're saying about like almost trying to get out the friend zone i don't even know if communicating that more <laughs> clearly it might work sometimes to be fair if you're more black and white about your intentions maybe that would help things to be fair but i feel like and i don't know if you've got an experience of this of like getting out, <laughs> getting out of the friend zone because well, i haven't got out of the friend zone before and like i said before like i don't even know if i would want to get out of the friend zone but I just feel like communication will only get you so far, I think. And ultimately, it's, it's down to how the person feels about you, which is, which is ultimately going to decide whether they want to have a romantic relationship with you or not. So then I'm... Okay, so in response to that, so now, now I'm starting to think about my friendships with girls and have they be, been a friendship and then led to something else? Mm. I don't think I've really had that. I've not really had that where... I'm friends with a girl and it's led to more. Because mm. that's, that's, like yeah, that's like the end goal, right? Or that's like the, that's like the, um, like the gold star of dating, I guess, is to, to be friends with someone and then it to, to develop into a relationship, I guess. Well, for me anyway, I think that's, I don't really see a relationship blossoming any better than that, really. See, that's another topic, you know, because, because probably it's, it's funny because I, I feel like, I agree with, with that to an extent, but I would say that for me, when it comes to like dating, like I have to have that. There needs to be like that feeling that that oh, like straight off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> that straight off the, not straight off the bat. No, but do you know what it is? No, you you, you know looked at me, <laughs> bro. You looked at me out the corner of your eye, and I knew there was a mate. No, no, I don't. That even was Nicky G talking I, to me. I that was a Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even mean it in like a bad way. I, don't I, mean, I, I understand what you, I just, you're saying. I just mean it in the, in the case of like, all right, look, friendships can be built in it. And yeah. like, I'd like for the person that like I'm with to, to obviously be someone I can build a friendship with and have that, that sexual attraction with as well. I just think that from like the beginning, it for me, it has to, it has to start sexually. And that means that I, it yeah. has to be a case of when I look at you, like I want to rip your clothes off or like, there's, there's, that, there's that feeling. And it's like, We'll build a friendship afterwards. I mean, you can feel that about a friend, can't you? What friends are you feeling like? <laughs> <laughs> None spring to mind, but I mean, <laughs> well, there you, you go. can, you can. Uh, I feel like you can have that feeling about one of your friends and been like, oh, I can imagine. You can start to imagine like what she might be beyond a friend. Yeah, like you can have that feeling with a friend, is what I'm saying. But I, I understand I, I, what I you're think saying. Think like you, saying. you need to that switch needs to kind of like flick i guess in terms of yeah because even for me even for me like i feel like that kind of attraction is it's i don't know how it works for other people to be honest if i'm if i'm totally honest but for me it's always been like a feeling it's been like a vibe it's been like a um it's like an aura yeah it's just like a like i, I have that i just feel that Dave Chappelle, uh like rick james skit do you not ever no, get you can that? See it is like not, oral. Do you not ever get that? Give it to me, baby. Sorry. <laughs> do, you not, do, you ever, do you not ever get that though? When you're like, mm. it was with, with someone. Sometimes you just have that that feeling where, like, you like you don't even you haven't even really had that sort of conversation just yet. But then there's just like that feeling between you. There's like a chemistry. I think. Yeah, chemistry, it's chemistry, kind of that. Um, the best way to describe. Yeah, it. it's it's that X factor. Yeah, I think for me, and I and think if I don't have that, yeah. then I'm not prepared to to try and build a like the friendship element because the friendship I feel like the friendship mm. can work on a lot of levels, and that can just be you building um, a comfortability with each other and an understanding with each other. Whereas the chemistry, I feel like if the chemistry doesn't isn't there from the get go, how do you how do you create the chemistry? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like maybe this is the romantic in me, but I feel like the chemistry can build over time i feel like sometimes the chemistry isn't there initially but it's it's not until you start spending proper time with the person getting to know them oh i've experienced know, that huh i've experienced that no i, I get what you mean, yeah, yeah getting to know their values that that chemistry starts to it gets stronger yeah, yeah it gets stronger but I, 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 yeah and that as well but I, I i do agree with you in terms of that initial spark needs to be there otherwise I'm not saying it's completely dead and you shouldn't pursue it, but I feel like it's it's less pursuable. I don't even know that's a word, but it's less pursuable if the chemistry isn't there right off the bat. Mm. And I think in the age that we live in now, where we obviously want shit quick, right? Like we're not willing to put that time in and invest that 
that energy into trying to build that friendship to possibly lead to relationship. Like we want a relationship now, right? Yeah. So I feel like in this day and age, it's probably less rare to see people be in relationships when they've been friends from, from, from the start. Right. And it's built to relationships. So, but, um, I feel like they'd probably be stronger though. Oh yeah. A hundred percent. But I'm just saying in the, in, in the world that we live in now, this world of immediacy it's probably less common to see, relationships like that like i can only oh, think oh, of this is that's, that's because our generation yeah. doesn't they've got it wrong like when it comes yeah they have got it wrong when it, when, it, when it comes to fundamentals of building like an, an actual stable relationship that's been the last decades and um it's, it's meant to be you know withstanding of the the, the toughest tests of time mm. our generation's not got that they don't understand no, not not as not as much as the last generation um, a good example actually is my friend's uh my friend Jason from uni actually like him and his partner Jay like they're married now they just had a baby as well like their relationship built over time like literally they were in the same um they did the same course at uni so for three years he was yeah I think he was yeah he was there for three years like they would they were just friends for that three years and it wasn't until after uni that they started to date romantically Kiri as well um to be fair Kind of, although I feel like with Kiri and Catherine, it's it's very similar to be fair. But with Kiri and Catherine, I feel like they dated. That, well, they obviously dated during uni, yeah. And I think but their they, their romantic relationship was was a lot quicker than than Jason and Joe's. Okay. But um, but then kind of when I look at Jason and Jay, like you can see, like that's a long that's a long lasting relationship. That's is that, is that a boy and a girl, by the way. But Jason and Jason is like. Jason. Jason's a guy. What? Jason's Jason, a guy. Jason Jay, Jay? No, Jay, Jay is a girl. Oh, okay. All right. I don't know these people. All right, sorry. Um, See, Jay, I'm feeling like Jason. Yeah, but Jay but Kwan. when you... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you tipsy. No, Hi-oh. No, no, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> but what I was going to say, you, you can tell by seeing them kind of interact, like that's... The, the, they're friends first and foremost, but then they're kind of lovers second. Yeah. And like I say, I think that that's, that's the kind of end goal for me anyway. Lovers and friends, yeah. Yeah. Um, we digressed quite a bit away from, not quite a bit, but obviously we were talking about um, friend zone and that. Yeah, I think it segued nicely, to be fair. Yeah. Um, I, what I would say is, as I've gotten older, I've been, uh, I can see the friend zone in coming more easily now. <laughs> I don't know about you, but you can, I feel like there's, there's telltale signs that a friend zone is coming. But see, this is this is this is where I was sort of. Um, if I go back to what I was talking about with the the, the um, Alan Roger Curry, which is mode yeah. one. Um, <coughs> so basically, what I oh, phone call. What I've learned from that that guy's premise is that in everything, just make sure that you're you're basically um, as honest as you can. Yeah. Be about what your intentions are, and I found that. It, it stops me wasting time with people that might put me in the friend zone because if I like if I'm interested in dating I'm interested in a relationship or I'm interested in um, just friends with benefits those are the things that I'll put forward to them if they're not interested in them yeah I think that's I'll fair enough away. but like you, you should be completely transparent like from the jump I think when you're starting any kind of relationship yeah <laughs> <laughs> I feel like what I said just went in one <laughs> ear and out the other. No, nice. you just looking down there, <laughs> no. and you're just like, yeah, whatever, man. No, 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 yeah. I, I, no. I, <laughs> I do agree with you. I do agree with you. I was just thinking that, but not everyone does that. A lot of people, yeah, of course, a lot of people like they they hold back their their true intentions. Yeah, I and mean, different were, strokes like, I, for different you know folks, what? right? We're, but like when we, when we talk about the friend zone, friendship zones, oh, yeah. sorry, the friend zone, even, um, I'm sure that there are girls that are like stringing guys along, and the guys are just having it. Because they're not putting out there what they what they actually really want from the, from the woman, um, and she's just. I don't think. Do you think that's going to change things though? If they suddenly said, if the guy suddenly said, hell yeah, I don't think it is. Fuck yeah. Like, there's only, no, there's only Fuck so yeah. many. There's so only so much that's going to influence. If the girl's not on you, and she's not interested in you romantically, it doesn't matter if you say I'm interested in you. Like it doesn't matter. I, t- I promise. It, there no. needs to be some reciprocity, right? Between yeah, I know. But even with the reciprocity, I'm sure like like. Unless you're like, again? <laughs> <laughs> that's where you went. <laughs> I tried to say it quick. I'm about to come in like a private conversation. This is recorded, so yeah. like, we'll, we'll listen back and jeez. Uh, I ain't editing shit out. So <laughs> you're on your own. You're on my own, bro. I feel like you 
fucked up on like that word. Oh yeah, no, I didn't fuck it. You fucked up on it last time, but I mess up on words all the time. And I yeah, this so is it's. I've said loads of stuff wrong to be fair. So yeah, you're the it host. Do you know what? There's so many episodes to come. Yeah, just imagine like. I'm only appearing every every so often. I'm in every single episode. Yeah, I'm in you're the, in every I'm single I'm in the scrutiny every single episode, so, yeah. The bigger it gets, the worse it'll get. That's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that. <laughs> anyway, carry on. Less of the, less of the, uh, of the yak. That might, that might like. Um But yeah, like I say, I, I feel like uh, a, a guy or a girl communicating what they want out of the relationship is only going to get them so far uh. because ultimately the thing... The defining thing within this is how that person feels about the other person. Yeah, yeah. That that's my point, and that's why I think this dude, what's his name, man, like Curry. Oh, Alan. Yeah, I feel man like, like I feel like the communication bit only works so far. Um, uh, sorry, sorry, were you gonna say something? Yeah, I was gonna say. Okay, so for you, yeah. like, have you been friend zoning girls recently, or like in our recent thirties, twenties? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But and how do it, you do it? it? It comes in different guises, right? So yeah, I've had a... Huh? How do you do it? <laughs> Why are you asking me? Like, no, you I just want to know. Is it no, it comes in different... Is it like... No, I'll tell you. Are you it, gentle it, with it? it? It's come in different guises, right? So um, again, this is up for debate whether we want to class this as a friend zone or not. But I, I had a girlfriend at the time and someone asked me out for a, a drink and I kind of just said, well, I've got a girlfriend so we can only be friends. Mm. So again, I, I, I don't personally count that as a friend zone. I just count that as being a decent person. Yeah, I yeah, guess. yeah. Um, and then uh, I suppose other times, yeah, I've just I've just been pretty straightforward about it, I think. I just think, for me, when I've friend zoned someone, it's been, and I've had like a previous romantic encounter or relationship with them, it's just because they've either done something to me, probably ghosted or late replied me or something like that um i tell you you're gonna get trolled by girls that want to do that you know now like yeah i just think yeah i think yeah because they 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 know like if they want to piss me off that that's that's all they need to do um (laughs) but yeah i've uh, when i have done it i've just been like you know when someone does you wrong like i'm i'm someone who i forgive what people do but i don't forget and i just feel like once you do something that really rubs me up the wrong way Mm. um yeah, I'll forgive you, but I won't forget it. And but but like the kind of the the the, the feeling has gone that, that that kind of romantic feeling, that feeling of endearment that I once had to them from a romantic perspective is kind of gone. And so like there's been times where I've just been like, I just I just don't feel the same way about you because you kind of done me wrong. So um, I'm just trying to think of a specific example. I mean that's quite a, you know, that's quite a nice diplomatic way way to do it. Very yeah, I think I'm just trying to think. Uh, more recently, like when people wanted to meet up with me, I don't know if this counts as friend zone though, to be fair, but see what you think. But like someone wanted to meet up with me, um, but I just said, I'm just not in the mood for kind of dating and such. Like, they, and they had done me wrong before. Like I tried to meet up with them in the past and they kind of canceled me loads of times. And how many, how many times were loads of times? Uh, like, like more than five. <laughs> <laughs> Why did your voice break a little bit? It didn't break, you just <laughs> laughed at me. Yeah, more than five. Um, but that's my point. Like when they've done me wrong so many times, like I I start to lose like that feeling, that romantic feeling. Yeah. Soon after yeah. That. And so whether you want to class this as a, a as a friend zone or not, I just said to him like I just don't really I don't really kind of see you that way anymore to be honest. Um, and if we do meet up, and this is a strong if we do meet up, like it's only going to be on a friend level. Yeah. So um, I mean that person, whoever that is, that they 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 saw that coming. It almost sounds like they tried to engineer it to be like I don't to be fair I don't wait. even think they saw that that coming I think they just assumed that I would always just you be get a some, you get some some people you just, get you do get some people like that I remember yeah. like I don't know there's a girl that I was talking to years ago mm. and I just remember that like she always thought that I'd, like I'd I'd hold an interest and then there was one day like I was like oh do you know what fuck this every time I talk to her she just like kind of pause it a little bit mm. and then she was just like what are you doing why are you ignoring me talk to me I was like oh okay i see i see when i stopped the conversation like yeah. and even then that <clears throat> that was a, a good sort of lesson for me to understand that like sometimes don't make yourself so available because when you make yourself too available the wrong person will take advantage of that and yeah um, I, I feel like especially in relationships big, i think that's a big part of yeah the friend, i think the friend zone yeah and a lot of relationships people 
not in a lot to be fair but in some relationships people take kindness for weakness um and yeah sorry i was gonna say i, I was trying to say a while ago it's like i think as i've grown older i've i've gotten better at kind of spotting the people who are gonna friend zone you first mm. i think or you can kind of see it coming on the horizon like it's it's things like like slow replies um being vague being like non-committal um but do you know what do you know what it's it's, it's a it's a it's a tough one though because it's like so if you look at that as a situation right i mean it's a you've got to sort of say to yourself, like, how do you actually navigate yourself with that so you're looking you're seeing yourself becoming a, like a, in this you're, you're entering into this friend zone mm. what do you do in that in that situation do you double down do you try and build something with them or do you just let the friend zone happen and then just like just okay cool let's let it flitter away yeah i mean it's a tricky one right I, for me personally if i see the friend zone signs coming i think in, in in years gone by like i haven't heeded the warnings like for example um my last girlfriend actually like she was giving off all the friend zone kind of vibes so she was slow replying she wasn't committing to like meeting up and stuff like that yeah and I didn't really heed that stuff, to be honest. I just kind of persevered mm. because I thought. When you say persevered, what's that, what's that entail? I just I almost just carried on as normal, to be honest. Yeah. Like I just almost carried on as normal as a crew. Did you up the ante a bit, or did you continue um, on the same sort of? Energy? No, I I I didn't up the ante. I just kind of I just kind of carried on as normal, to be fair. Yeah. Um. But then, yeah, I think if you were to ask me what I do now if the same thing happened, I think I'm a, a little bit more wiser about that. And I just, I'd be a bit more blunt about it. And I just say, okay, like what we, like what are we doing here? Like I'm in my thirties. I don't really have time for playing games or for people to, again, I hate to sound like a dick about it, but to not have a backbone and just like really just outline exactly kind of what you want because. But we see it in, in that way in our thirties. And I think that mm. that is definitely so, like when you say like yeah I'm in my thirties like I'm at that stage in life where like you don't mm. want that bullshit. Mm. That's because when we were younger like you could, you could get away with that bullshit you know. Yeah, hundred like percent. When it, so when I was in my twenties like, you know I I kind of maybe I was a bit more resilient and I was a bit more, you know I was up I was more up for the challenge of trying to convert or trying to get out of the friend zone, whereas in now I'm just kind of like I don't know whether it's just experience or. Exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it might be exhaustion. It's probably exhaustion, <laughs> resilience, just a bit of like nous or whatever. But I, I just, I, I'm, I don't, I don't en entertain it as much as I used to. Mate, I, I understand where you come from. The, the whole element, and I, I wonder, yeah, if this is a, a, an age thing or if this is just like a, a, a generational thing, where, when, when, what I mean by the, with the difference is that in this generation there's so much accessibility mm. that people can be getting friends zone left right and center whether they're in their 30s in their 20s yeah being a teenager I think that like it it spans to everyone and obviously sure. at our age yeah we've been through the wars with it we've gone through it continuously so we're at that point where like if we are um <clears throat> looking for something then yeah we would be like oh you know what just fucking just tell me what you want like yeah. if you want it you want it if you don't then that's just like part ways mm. and i think that the friend zone it's it is something that it's probably a bit more um relevant to to, to the younger generations as a, as a, as an essence a little bit yeah a little bit i do agree with you in terms of um it's it applies to all I, I do think it applies to all ages and i do think it's a generational thing because i you're right i think in years gone by when i was people are more people are more willing to invest in building a relationship and turning that friend friend zone into an actual relationship but for the point that you made like because you know dating apps and social media makes it so much more accessible to kind of find other people you know people don't really see the point in building relationships as much as they used to Thanks for watching 30 Years and Running. Please subscribe, comment and share. See you next week. Peace.